Welcome everyone, special welcome to my subscribers and of course you new viewers, you should become subscribers today. I'm doing another slow cooker. Uh, we're going to make a pasta dish, chicken and eggplant rigatoni. Jumping right in, got my uh, slow cooker already greased with just some cooking spray. And the thing that's going to cook, that takes the longest to cook is the eggplant, so that's going to go on the bottom, closest to my heat. On top of that, I've got two 15 ounce cans of a diced tomatoes. No special flavors or anything like that, just regular diced tomatoes. And I'm just using a spatula to spread those out a little bit. Okay, that's going to become our sauce. In addition to that, I've got two tablespoons of minced garlic. My chicken. So, that garlic little mix around. Okay, this is exactly 1.37 pounds of chicken. Shoot between uh, one and a quarter and one and a half pounds. It's two chicken breasts. Where's this since it's raw. And those were cut into small cubes. Next, we're going to start hitting with our spices. Uh, I'll go through them all in a second. One table, one teaspoon each. Okay, so sage, onion powder, basil, parsley, thyme, oregano, garlic powder, black pepper. And of course, kosher salt. Uh, we'll give that another mix. Just want to make sure that we're getting everything kind of combined together. Again, this is going to make into a nice little sauce, so don't worry about it being perfect. Last and not least, three tablespoons of uh, shredded and grated uh, Parmesan and one half of a cup of shredded mozzarella. All this goes into the, the pot. You can cook this on low. If you're going low, you're going to do seven to eight hours. If you're going high, you're going to do three to four hours. And you're wondering, he said pasta. Well, I am going to do pasta, but pasta cooks so quick that we have to add that at the end. So, we'll let this cook. And when we're getting close to the end, we'll come back and we'll add in this guy. See you in a few. We've been going now for about four hours. You can see I was saying that this was going to make a nice sauce. It's definitely reduced down. You get the beautiful aroma off of that. So to finish this off, we're going to add in our rigatoni. You could certainly use any pasta of your choosing. I wouldn't go with something like this spaghetti or linguine just because it's so long. Straight in the pot. Mix this up. About to my up. And we're going to cook this for about, uh, it's on high, remember I said you can go low or high. Uh, we're going to cook this for about 20 minutes until these uh, noodles soften up and are cooked to a nice al dente. Keep an eye on it, it shouldn't take longer than 20 minutes. So we'll see you when that's done. It's been about uh, 15 to 20 minutes, give or take. Uh, I've been stirring it occasionally just to make sure that all the noodles are getting softened up. Uh, you can see the chicken's broken down really nice. Some nice chunks of that eggplant in there. It's really easy. Top off just a little bit of Parmesan. There you go. And that's all there is to it. Really easy uh, and really tasty. It's got a nice aroma. You know the drill? Give this a try. Tell me what other substitutions you make. If you had any other vegetables, which you could you know, go crazy with. Um, if you don't want the chicken, you could take that out and make it a vegetarian dish. Otherwise, subscribe, share, and like. Comments below. Check back for the next video, and take care.